your imagination is restricted by so many fears and beliefs and all this crap that you have piled into your mind that you couldn't even possibly comprehend the level of blessings that you have waiting for you. Hey, it's Zana. So letting go of outcomes, detaching from the outcome. This is literally the hardest fucking thing to do. It's something that I struggle with all the time, like on a daily basis, but it really is key. Like it's one of the main things I've realized that I need to do and is really important to do is let go of the how something is gonna happen and when something is gonna happen. Because we are in a human experience, you know, we've fallen under amnesia, we can't remember the path that we agreed to. We can't remember every step that we're supposed to take and that we're going to take or that we're meant to take. We can't remember this shit, you know? That's kind of the whole point, we're not supposed to remember because then it seems like we're we're doing something that we have no idea about, you know, we're learning about something. So we need to not actually know. If you knew every outcome, then this life would just be boring as hell. Like, there would be no point. We may as well go back home. So I've really realised that the key is to actually let go of the how and when and just believe with your full heart that it's going to happen. But it doesn't matter how it's going to and it doesn't matter when it's going to once you release that and like let go of that because it keeps you so restricted so once you release that restriction it then opens up for opportunities to actually come in because you're not set on one idea of one opportunity of how that goal is going to look you know so like using my music for an example I could if I was so focused on a specific way that it would look like my success would look or whatever kind of aspect of the music industry you would want to think about if I was to focus on my career and have such an idea in my mind where I'm completely like so focused on it looking that exact way then none of these other opportunities would be able to come in because I wouldn't be open to them, you know? Like, I probably wouldn't even notice them. Like, a DM could come in my... A DM could come in my DM. What? A message could pop up in my DMs, and I may not even notice it. But it could be an opportunity that I'm supposed to take, you know? So, letting go of the how and the when really allows all of these different opportunities to come in because there's infinite possibilities. There's so many opportunities and so many ways to go about things. So why limit yourself to just one thought you know just one concept one idea when the universe could literally give you a hundred and you could go in so many different directions and like all of these directions can intertwine you know all of these opportunities when we're not restricted to one thing i don't have to just do music i can do music and make these videos and start a merch clothing brand and like you know we don't have to box ourselves in and I feel like trying to control the how and the when really does box you in because your mind is a human like it's restricted by the human perception you know so your imagination is restricted by so many fears and beliefs and all this crap that you have piled into your mind that you couldn't even possibly comprehend the level of blessings that you have waiting for you you know so when you're trying to control it you're literally blocking all of these incredible things that you haven't even thought of you haven't even looked at the possibility that this incredible thing could happen because you might not even feel like you're worthy enough for it but it's waiting right there for you but you're blocking it because you're so focused on this other thing that you really want to happen in this exact way at this exact time you know, so it really restricts us and I've realised that it's absolutely like vital that we let go of the need to control and this is really not easy <laughs> but it's so liberating when you do like it's freedom because then things just come to you and that's what I said in another video about I filmed six today okay so that's what I said in another video about um let things come to you you don't need to go to it it comes to you and that's not to say that we don't put in the work obviously you have to like you have to be doing certain things and keeping yourself in alignment with what you want but you don't need to like 
restrict yourself and cage yourself into one idea or one outcome or one time frame, you know? Because it's gonna happen how it's supposed to anyway. You literally can't control it. You're trying to control something that you actually can't control is gonna happen exactly as you need at the exact time that you need. So there's no point, absolutely no point holding on. And I realized that's why my music didn't take off years ago when I first started trying to like, when I first started vocal lessons, I mean, I started vocal lessons at 13. So like, if I'd have blown up at say 13 or 16 or something, I would have got lost in this fucking industry. Like the fame, the money, the need to be perfect, like people's opinions, all of that would have literally crucified me. <laughs> So I realized that that was never my path, you know, I would not be sitting here making videos trying to help people if I if that kind of path that I really wanted would have happened. So everything is going to happen exactly as it's supposed to, exactly as you need, because it's in service of you, it's for you. You've already agreed to it before you even incarnated into this vessel. This is like, like, you just have to be reminded that this is so much bigger than you, you know, like your one fractal of consciousness but do you know how massive how huge god the all source like how big this universe is you know like it's fucking huge and you're just one little fractal of it but you're also a part of it you know so this is not to say that you're nothing because you're everything and nothing at the same time you know it like all contradicts itself and it's polarity and duality like man this shit is just mind-blowing you know like it's mind-blowing how huge this is and how important your role is in this bigger picture so this is just to say like when you release the control when you release the like clinging to a certain outcome and a certain time frame then the powers that be which is literally you but you just haven't realized it. Like your higher self, your soul, everything is you. God is you. So when you let go of this control in this experience, it allows everything to fall in place for you because you've already planned it. You've already agreed to it. Your spirit guides, your higher self, your ancestors, like they all are you. You know, we're all of the same consciousness. So they're all you. It's not separate from you. It's not somebody else. It's you. So all of these things can fall into place and work for you, for your highest good, rather than you like trying to go against it. Because let's face it, we all know that we cannot go against the plan for us. Like you can't go against the universe's plan because you already agreed to it. It was your plan. You just can't go against it because it's going to fucking happen. You know, it's going to happen whether like an opportunity comes or like, something bad happens, all of it, you can't control what's gonna happen. You literally can't. So, but what you can do is elevate yourself so that you align yourself with the things that you do want that are supposed to come in for you. Like, that's what manifestation is. I need to do a whole video on this because otherwise I'm gonna sit here talking about fucking manifestation now and that is not the purpose of this video. But like you're aligning yourself with things that are meant for you. You can't align yourself with something that isn't meant for you because it won't come in. You know, that's why I hate these fucking videos that are like, how to manifest your ex. It's so ridiculous. Why would you want to manifest somebody that's not meant for you? You know, and if they are meant for you, then they're gonna come back to you anyway. So you don't need to manifest them. It's just so ridiculous, like, that just breeds toxic relationships. But anyway, that's for a whole other video. What I'm trying to say is, once you release the control, the need to like, have a, such a tight grip on where things move, it allows it to flow freely. And your world opens up and the opportunities come into you and everything's like, I mean, you are fucking abundance, you are God. So how can you ever, doubt that something's gonna come to you how can you doubt that when you literally created it for yourself you literally agreed to it before you came here so yeah I definitely feel like the need to control stems from a lack of belief in yourself you know and my phone and we are here to unravel those motherfucking beliefs just saying sorry about this my phone just went off 
Um, we are here to unravel those beliefs, so I'm going to make videos on how to get to the root of beliefs and how to heal them and all of that kind of stuff. But yeah, hopefully this helps you see why you need to control it. Like maybe this will get you to look at why you keep trying to control things and oftentimes you'll realise that it's because you don't believe that it's going to happen or that you don't believe it's for you. And when you uncover that, then you can start to heal that belief and change it to a belief that you actually want and that actually serves you you know we don't need to control things because we are abundance we are prosperity that is your birthright that is who you are your god consciousness you could never be anything less so let go of the need to control and let things happen for you in the most amazing way because that is what is going to happen that is like why you came here you know and that's not to say that we don't go through tough times, of course we do, but there's a lesson behind every tough time that we go through, you know. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also hit that notification bell so that you get notified of every video that I post because it's really annoying that you don't get notified anymore. Like all of these, what are they called, platforms. <laughs> I can't think of the word today. All of these like platforms and stuff, they change and everything to really affect us. So yeah, make sure that you hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down. If he is